what is up everyone? So as you can see, it's raining out. Uh, and what better time than to work on your car. Got to take the coilovers off today and I'm gonna put on my stock suspension. Uh, might take off the trunk, might not. I don't know, I don't want to take it off with the filthy and the car's still filthy and the rain's not really helping with the, I mean it's probably cleaning the car more than it's been cleaned, but uh, we'll see. Uh, definitely taking the suspension off today. Gonna spray my J-pipe bolts a little bit more because I did that about four times already. And I'm gonna do it again and whenever I take it off, I'm gonna do it again and again because those, uh, those snap. Mine haven't. Well, it didn't when I put the aftermarket one in, but it can snap, so. Gonna cross my fingers when I do that one, uh, take all the measures to get it to not snap, and uh, yeah, so let's do the suspension. It shouldn't take too long. I might have to drill out some, some bolts on the stock suspension. Uh, I'll show you that if I have to do that, but uh, let's get going. I gotta move this car out and move my car in. My other car. <laughs> Uh, I gotta move the, the project car out, move the Subi in, and the Mustang's also in the way, so. That's all you're seeing. That's all you're getting from today. Uh, yeah, let's move these. So the car's in the garage. What I gotta do, I gotta jack the car up, which is kind of annoying, so maybe I'll hire like a NASCAR pit crew one of these days just to fucking zip them all off for me quick because it's annoying. Especially got like the lock on there and it's not annoying but it's just like one extra step that's a little slightly annoying but we'll make it work. Uh, I was thinking about doing the trunk but I was like I gotta wash the car first but maybe since it's soaked right now I could spray it with some quick detail spray, wipe it down because we don't want swirls so uh, let's get one task done for the day. Do the coilovers, take a couple bolts off in the front, a couple in the back, take the old, the uh, new-ish, take the coilovers out, put the old suspension back in, and uh, bolt everything back, and then we're done. So, I'll get at least one test done for the day, and then we'll see if I'm gonna deal with the trunk, but uh, I don't know. Watch me finish this, because it's uh, a little boring. All right, so the car is all jacked up. Wheels are off. One side. Two side. Over there. Give it the shake. Didn't fall. Good. That's a plus. Before I forget, let me put together this thing. All right, so coilovers are simple. Uh, if you haven't done, if you haven't uh, installed coilovers before, there's plenty of videos on the internet, but uh, after you jack the car up, you really just have to deal with these three bolts, one, two, three, on each side, and then there's two holding it onto the, uh, holding it onto the hub, and I believe there's just a brake line you have to disconnect. It's like a 10 millimeter bolt just to unbolt the brake line, then, uh, whole assembly comes out, new one goes in. So it's simple, back is even easier. I think the back's three bolts and you might need an extra set of hands for the back one. I mean, you could do it by yourself, but it's easier with the extra set of hands, but let's get doing the, let's get to uh, doing the front ones and, oh wait, let me build that seat first and then we'll go start on the front ones. So that may or may not have been the easiest thing I've ever done in my entire life, was put together this thing. So that's together, let's, uh, uh, we'll start taking these things apart. We might need the jack to support it from underneath. Got a seat and shit. Be good. I'm gonna need some light in here, so I'll go get some light so I can show you guys what I'm gonna do here. Right, so we're gonna do the other side because it's uh, easier for me to get you light. So slide this up. Now, what do we got here? Yeah, this isn't even that much better light. All right, so you see that bolt right there? That is your camber bolt. So you wanna make sure you don't really mess with that. I mean, you should be going to get an alignment after you switch your suspension out. But you got that one. And then there's another one underneath. Those are two 19s. Take those off. 
You see this over here? That's for your that's for your ABS. You uh, it's really just a clip. Like that's off. And then on the other side, you have for your brake line. So you got those uh, three bolts because that was a clip to ABS. And then you got three up here that you got to take off. So uh, they could be a little stubborn. Try not to lose your spot for the camber bolt so you could at least get it somewhat close to where it was. Uh, like I did say, you should be going to get an alignment after you mess with your suspension geometry. So uh, we're just gonna have this as a temporary, then we'll go get a, an alignment. But uh, take a couple bolts, they might be a little stuck, so you might need like a breaker bar of some sort to get those off, because it does see a lot of like weather, uh, especially if it's winter time, uh, after the winter, whatever, whatever you're doing. Uh, you might need to, uh, Put a little strength in it. Might need a, a breaker bar, but it's not that uh, it's not that difficult to take out. So we'll take this out, slide this out. Uh, you don't want to let your whole axle slash hub like just slam down when you take out that last bolt. So kind of just like place it down. Uh, not really going to do much damage if it sits there for a couple minutes. But then we're going to throw in the other, uh, throw in the stock one, and then we do the same on the other side, and then front's done. So. Let's do that. Put a little weight into it. Huh. You got your nut. You got a washer. And then the camper bolt, but I didn't take the one for the brake line off yet, so let's take that guy off. Yeah, like that. Not uh, not exactly what you want to do. Let's take the top guys off. Coil lever out. All right, we're gonna throw the new coil back in. Uh, now, if you, now would be a good time if you have to to change these studs out. Uh, you could probably find, uh, I mean, you could change the whole top hat, which uh, you need a spring compressor, pass through socket set and stuff like that, or you could change these studs out. Uh, you could find some aftermarket ones at like BC Racing, but you're gonna have to drill out the piece of the top hat because it's a little bit fatter. Uh, I did, had to do that with one actually, a long time ago. Uh, so yeah, I drilled it out, and then you really just have to put the nut on and tighten it on. You want to drill it out slightly smaller than the uh, than the uh, threading on here, the little shoulder, and then you put the nut on and just crank it down, and then you tighten it, and then it sets itself. So if you do that, you uh, you could change these out, but uh, I don't have to change any. Uh, just make sure you put it on a nice firm surface, like if you have a vise or something, just blast it in, blast it down, and these should pop out. They're they're in there a little firmly, but you could get them out. Uh, let's throw this one in and then we just gotta deal with the other side and then we're done with the front of the car. You could put a jack under it and lift it. Makes it a lot easier. Clip your line for the ABS back in. Put the, the brake line back. Let's tighten these boys down. Okay, that's tight. All right, we're done with this side. And uh, let's hop over there. Swap that whole thing out. And uh, when you do the top hats, Wait till you put the car down to uh, torque them down all the way. Uh, right now, you just kind of like snug them up. When the car's on its own, uh, under its own weight, then torque goes down. So uh, I'm gonna go do that side quick, and then we'll hop on the back. So now that the fronts are done, we're gonna move on to the back. And the back should be even simpler. Uh, if you watched my last video, you'll see how to take the bolts off on the lower control arm. 
uh, you're still gonna have to loosen up the ones for the end link now. Like it's kind of a little bit same video, but kind of different. Uh, you have to loosen up the bolts for the end link to separate the lower control arm. So then when you take the bolts for the coilover out, it uh, will slide right out. So you got the loosen one bolt, take one bolt out, and then in the trunk, you have to go through the trunk and it's like up here, I guess like back here in the trunk. You got to uh, take those two bolts out. There's only two back there, uh, in there. Do that on each side, throw the new ones in and you're good. The back one, you don't have to worry about camber because there's no camber adjustments on the back unless you get aftermarket lower control arms. But with stock, you don't have to worry about anything. So we just pop all the things out, pop the new ones in, old ones, stock ones, whatever, pop those in and you're all done in the back. Simple as that, right? Uh, one other thing, the back ones are all different sizes than the front ones. So if you just got used to the sizes over there, uh, all different ones here. You need 17 mil for uh, the coilover shock assembly. Uh, 12? No, 14 mil for the uh, end link. And then the ones in the trunk, I believe, are 14 also. Okay, check on there, but not that it's that important because those are the, the easiest ones to to do because those don't really see the weather. Uh, so yeah, we'll pop these off. Um, it's actually easier instead of going through the trunk, instead of going through the trunk to get those top bolts, you can actually go through the back seat, flip the back seat down and you could like fold it, fold the trunk liner over and loosen those. So uh, take this out quick and then I'll uh, show you. So I may or may not have lied about it, but there's another bolt you have to take off. You have to take off the uh, the furthest bolt out to the, the hub. Because you need, I mean, I guess you could take off the one we took off when we did the sway bar, that the inside one for the, the lower control arm, but you need extra slack to drop the lower control arm so you could put the shock assembly in there because the stock one's a lot taller than uh, the coilovers. I can actually show you side by side, hold on. Front ones are on already, so I can't show you the front difference, but the back difference. That's your difference side by side, so see all that extra extra space there? So you gotta drop your low control arm just so you could sneak that in there. So I'm gonna do it on this side, throw this in, then we're done. Maybe, possibly, tentatively. in there. I have the fun part of trying to stick these bolts in now. Right. I can't see anything. Got my awesome chair but I can't see shit. Suspension's back in. I uh, just got to put the wheels back on and then lower the car. Oh and then I got to tighten the the top hats in the in the engine bay for the front ones and then in the trunk for the rear ones. Then we're done. And maybe we'll take it on a little test drive. Make sure everything's cool. I'm sure my alignment's probably completely horrible. But uh yeah. So I got you stuffed in, in between the seat again. Gonna give it a quick ride. Right off the bat, uh, it feels a lot higher. Getting in, that's my radar detector. Right off the bat, it's, uh, this car feels a lot higher. So we'll go around the block, make sure we don't have any clunking noises. And then we're, uh, then we're good. Safety first. So we're back at the garage and, wow, what's all that? Oh, look at this. 
I, sp I sprayed a lot of WD-40 on my on the bolts over there and it's all burning off. Does not smell fantastic. Back in the garage, uh, suspension's all done. Got the stock ones back on. No clunking, car sounds good. Uh, one of the reasons it took me so long to take these off, the, the stock one, the stock ones, the, one of the reasons it took me so long to take the, uh, the Fortune Autos off, uh, my two front ones, they're making some noise. Uh, some clunking, almost like uh, something's loose under there. So uh, I was running some tests, emailing with Fortune Auto. I've gotta send them back in just the, the fronts. They're gonna test them, confirm that they are completely messed up and hopefully send me new ones. So keep your fingers crossed for me. I'm not gonna do the trunk today because I'm not going to, I don't know, it's wet. I'll save that for the next video uh, because this one is really more focused on the coilovers. Yeah, I wanna thank you guys for joining me. Uh, only got a couple more things to do. Gotta take the, the trunk off, gotta take the J pipe off. Oh, I have a shift knob. Shift knob off and access port, so. Uh, oh yeah, and then swap back to the stock wheels. The stock wheels are over there. But that's uh, right before we get rid of the car because you don't want summer tires right now because just slide like Mustang yourself into something. I want to thank you guys for joining me. If you have any questions about what I did, please leave them down in the, the, the comment section. Uh, give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to me because we're trying to hit 300. And if we hit 300, I reveal my project car. And my project car is going to be fun. I already got the first mods for it mods it's really a couple lights but uh yeah if you want me to leave you i guess i could start leaving some hints towards it uh you saw like the bumper or like a piece of the bumper as the garage door was going down so uh, i guess i'll throw a couple in here and there if you could you guys could figure it out more power to you uh so once again thank you for joining me uh any questions leave them down there like, give me a thumbs up Subscribe, we're trying to make 300. 300, let's do it. Uh, almost there. Less than like, less than 40 to go, I think. Hold on. Unlock, let's go. Where are we at here? Let's go back, let's go back. Come on. We need 35 more to go, so we're almost there. Shouldn't be too bad, but uh, keep, uh, keep subscribing, share the channel. Let's get the subscription. Let's get up to 300. Uh, thanks for joining me. I'll see you very soon. Maybe uh, maybe tomorrow, maybe next week, maybe some point. But see you guys later.